Adaptive teaching is a very important part of conceptual math, and it begins with the student's skills check. The student sees these three stars, and they start to answer the skills check. In this example, we'll show the student answering a question incorrectly. They're supposed to show three-thirds, and they get the question wrong. Here they're supposed to show three-sixths, enough sixths to show one-half, but they get it wrong. And so they got the first two wrong. We'll get the rest of them right, and then we'll see how the video continues. The student has answered four out of six correctly, which is not enough to pass. And as a result, they see this adaptive teaching screen. They're asked to review their answers with their teacher and ask their teacher what to do next. So the teacher comes over. We click right here, and the teacher can see the exact responses the student has made. Here's that one-third. Here's that one-sixth response. The teacher can have a dialogue with the student. The student could show the teacher that he or she is capable of answering the question. They can get it right right here in this review screen. But the reality is that they're going to return to the adaptive teaching screen, and the teacher's going to have a choice. Will the student do the blue activity? And it's another one that's similar to the standard activity they started on. We call it the more activity. It's a retake. Or perhaps the teacher is going to recommend that they do the yellow lesson to practice with support. We call it the R or remedial lesson. In this case, if there are videos in the original lesson, there'll be more videos. If there are models moving to procedures, there'll be some more models in a slower trajectory toward going to the procedures. Or if they need to work on a pre-skill, they'll choose the purple activity. If they do the pre-skill, they're going to cycle back to that blue lesson, that more lesson, so they get a complete cycle and they complete the equivalent of the standard activity. If the teacher wishes, she can also have them skip to the next lesson. In this case, the teacher's sign in name and password will be required. If the student does either the more or the remedial lesson, they're doing one extra lesson compared to those who simply move on. If the student does the purple or preskill lesson, they'll be doing two. First the preskill, and if they pass that, then they'll move to the M more lesson, that blue one. Our statistics, over 2 million data points, show us that 75% of students pass the standard lesson. They simply move forward and never see this adaptive teaching screen. 25% don't pass the standard lesson. They see this screen. And of those, 82%, a high rate, pass whatever next lesson they're assigned for the remedial differentiation purpose.